fabulous ideas and brainstorming to scrubbing toilets and <laughs> cleaning glass blocks for founding members and weed eating and everything. So um, thank them all if you have a chance when you see them today. Um, I am going to turn the mic over to our mayor to say a few welcoming words. Thank you much for being here. I want to thank everybody for being here. I, I was reflecting back, it wasn't quite four years ago that a few of us met in the Chamber of Commerce office. Uh, Bill Featherstone representing the parks and Jack, Diane, uh, and Glenn, I think, were the key people who came up with this concept of what to do with the old school. Uh, and, they, and at the time they said, well, let's, you know, let's take a gift to the city. And I said, the city can't afford it. And Fortunately, at that group, they came up with this concept of the Community Foundation as a way to fund the way to build the community <laughs> building. And th this key group met, and, and they're still meeting, I think. I don't know if it's Tuesdays or Thursdays or Friday. Wednesdays. Friday. Fridays, yeah. Every Friday. <laughs> Every Friday, at, you know, <laughs> then the 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, I don't know. <laughs> Awfully early. And I was a part of that for several, for quite a while. Um, and they just put so much effort into that vision. And this, as a result of those people and the community, uh, this is what we have today. And you guys and everybody deserve a big round of applause. It's just in because without you all and without that key group, this wouldn't be happening and we wouldn't be here today. And I want to thank you all for everything you've done and for getting this here. And thank you all, the citizens of Eureka Spring, for helping make this a reality. It's a dream that's been here for, you know, over 20 years, 30 years, a long time. And now we see uh, the vision coming true. And there's more to come. So thank you all very much. Thank you. So I wanted to introduce you all to Cat Luna who is our first official employee. She's our activities director, and hopefully you're gonna have a chance to meet her and spend a lot of time because you'll be here when she is. So Kat, where are you? Right here, right here, right here. Yeah. 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 She has worked so hard to coordinate programming and um, make some exciting offerings for everybody. So when you go in the gym, you're gonna get to learn about all of that. And then I'm gonna introduce Kathy Reminar, who's hiding somewhere. There you are. And you're gonna come talk about memberships and what's happening. Okay. No, I couldn't wait for this. I couldn't wait for something positive to happen at the place where I lived most of my adult life. I'm well to death. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to do, but with this town, there's we'll do it grants and whatever else to fund this so it all happens. In the meantime, our way of funding is through membership. You can have a single membership for $20 or a family membership for $40. Now that will go through 2018 because at this point we don't have a lot of things to offer but we're getting more all the time. But what we're looking right now is the founding member. We've got this incredible we use the glass blocks that were in the building that i painted over mine because i couldn't stand the sun coming in them but if you look at this Dana white is here <laughs> showing off and that's a founding member um member and you get well you get a t-shirt and you get a year-long membership it's two hundred dollars but it's a way of helping us fund the beginning growth of the community center so a founding member, member glass block. I have three children who went here. All of them are getting a glass block. It's a requirement of their childhood. <laughs> and everybody else that went to school here, there are tons of Highlanders out there. You've got to be happy about the repurposing of what you, where you went to school. Yeah. It's a wonderful repurposing. <laughs> Thank you so much. And be sure to become a member today. That would be a good thing. Yeah. And, and now for the emotional part of the program. Yeah. 
I've been entirely blessed to have had the honor to work with um, some of the finest people I've ever known. Um, your community center board are the most selfless people I've ever met. And it's really unfair to, to point at one of them and say, hey, you stand head and shoulders above the others. But if I had to do so, <laughs> and I've been charged with that, uh, there is one person that with incredible grace and beauty and dedication um, has literally been the glue that's kept us together. And uh, quite honestly, I don't know that we could have uh, done it or gotten to this point without her. I, th and I, I feel uh, very confident that my fellow board members feel the same way. Diane is uh, the epitome of leadership. Uh, through all the uh, uh, pains and, and, and stuff <laughs> that has transpired over the last five plus years, uh, what you see there, that smiling face has been omnipresent and it's what's kept me going. So Diane, on behalf of uh, your fellow board and really everybody that's here in the entire community, uh, thank you so much for getting oh us gosh. to this point. Hey there, I'm Doug Powell. Um, I'm teaching basic hand drumming here at the community center in Yorkie Springs. Um, it's very beginning stuff. There's a lot of people that go to the drummings in the park and, and really enjoy hearing the drumming. And a lot of them have drums, but they don't really know how to play them without hurting themselves. And so I'm gonna teach some basic techniques, how to, how to play the different sounds that, that you get on the drum. And um, hopefully in a, in a manner that you're not hurting your hands. And um, I, I really enjoy this, you know, the community center here has been a great, it's a great facility. We're hoping this winter to have some community drums here, like the, we have in the park in the summertime. Um, and uh, there's just so many activities here that, that are great. Um, I, I play the ball, I like to go to dance. And it's, it's just a, it's a good thing to do. Support the community center. And I'll be teaching this class for, um, for six Mondays and then it may continue on. Hey, the boat Bomar may pick it up and do some more advanced drumming techniques. Hi, I'm Kat Luna, Activities Director here at the Eureka Springs Community Center, and I'm coming here today to tell you about our 2019 membership offerings. We have some amazing specials going on before December 31st, $40 for an individual or $80 for a family 
for all of 2019. And then after that, we're going to go up a little bit more in rates, $50 or $90. So join today. All of your uh, membership will include a t-shirt and the activities in the gym, as well as all the equipment you need. We have a new fitness and weight center coming in 2019. And of course, we have amazing classes going on. And those uh, classes are going to be offered to you at a special rate because you're a member. Join today. Thanks. My name is Dawn Anderson. I'm one of three Zumba instructors here at the Community Center. We offer three different formats here at the Community Center. We have Zumba Fitness, Zumba Gold, and Strong by Zumba. All three of them are Latin-inspired dance fitness classes. Zumba Fitness, of course, is the original one. Uh, Zumba Gold is based on uh, lower impact and more basic steps, and Strong by Zumba is high intensity interval training that's choreographed to music. Hi, my name is Carmen Tapia and I am a Zumba instructor as well. So um, to me, I mean, for being here, it's awesome and I love Zumba, everything that has to do with it. And when I was an, a participant, I loved to be here for me, just me, myself, everything just for me. So I really love people here smiling and being happy, enjoying their own time. I'm Mallory Butler. I'm also an instructor here. The facility here is amazing. Uh, it draws in a lot of people. There's so much to do here. and We have a great room to be able to do Zumba in. And we have classes six days a week. We have a Monday through Thursday at 5.30 p.m. And then Friday and Saturday morning at 9 a.m. So, so come, come join us. us. Pickleball is played on a tennis type court, a little smaller, with a paddle, a wiffle ball. It has the speed of racquetball and it has the rules of ping pong. It's similar. So it's kind of a cross the ball as it's real fast and furious. Okay. And uh, you're playing here at the Eureka Springs Community Center. Yes. How long have you been playing here? We just started in October with the courts available. We had two courts initially and then we got funding enough so now we have three courts. We keep them, all three of them full most of the time. We play Tuesday evenings at 5, Thursday evenings at 5, and Saturday mornings at 10. And we have a crowd. We have a crowd every time. So do y'all sign up to play or do you uh, show up or how does it work? Just show up and whoever's here we just kind of split up the groups and depending on how we just swap around. You just never play with the same people every time. Just different people and different different levels of play. Okay. There's beginner play. We When we first opened in October I was probably the only experienced one I've played for many years. But we had lots of new people and now they're awesome. They play well and they, they would be very competitive anywhere else. And so do you have a tournament every year? Are you planning on doing tournaments in the future? I don't know if they are here, but there is tournament play. I play in Missouri with a lot of tournament people. In fact, they're playing a tournament this weekend in Springfield. They play in Oklahoma City, um, Heber Springs, Rogers, uh, Branson. They play tournaments everywhere. So um, there's tournaments available if you want to go to that level. <laughs> and they, they split you up into categories as to your level of play. Five point is being the best player, so they split you up, and depending on how you play, it's, and you play for medals. It's not for money; it's just for fun. And there's all age groups. Um, little kids play it in schools now. A lot of the junior highs are playing it. I know Cassville Junior High has their teacher plays with me in Cassville, and she's teaching all her kids to play, and she said they love it. So, so when you play here at the community center, at the end of your session, all playing together, do y'all go out and? Whoever plays the best gets, gets to buy breakfast? Or no, no, we go home and crash. <laughs> we go home and crash. <laughs> Good. Well, but I know you're happy to be here. We've made a so. bunch of new friends here and yeah. new people all the time. And I've met people, in, I've been in Eureka for 35 years and I've met people I had never knew were here. So it's very fun, very good community. Thank you so much. Uh -huh.